Hi guys and welcome to Alchemic Cutie. This game just dropped on Steam and I've had it on my wishlist for a while so I thought we should we should try it out. Feed two jellies items with a love effect to get them to lay eggs. All right cool. So from what I've seen of this game it kind of looks like you know typical pixel art farm sim but also it has these like jelly creatures sort of similar to monster harvest and even slime rancher but other than that i know very little about the game so i think we're just gonna jump on in and, and see what we think i'm not sure if it's going to be more of a farm sim vibe or if it's going to be more of like an rpg i think it's a mix of both but i don't know which one is going to be dominant martha everyone finished with their breakfast desmond yes dear thank you rolf yep thanks ma yvette yes we're finished yep thanks for breakfast mama you're welcome starfish well then since everyone's done let's get started we have a lot of work to do this morning but first, we got you something, Yvette. I think you'll like it. Consider it a graduation present. We're so proud of you. Yeah, congratulations. You're officially a big nerd. I'm an alchemist, Rolf. Yeah. Bleh. Yvette, the present? Right, sorry. It's a notebook, thank you. Why don't you have a look at his sections for different topics? Ooh. Your jelly section has a list so you can keep track of jellies and a details page so you can learn more about each one okay there's a codex where you can write notes about plants and items you find and it has a planner so you can keep track of tasks you have to do in case you forget and it has a map too you know for when you get lost and a section for notes on everything else in the back, like interesting things you learned or helpful tips. I love it. Thanks, everyone. Well, time for work. Let's all get going. Alright, I think when I edit, I might want to uh, see how dominant the, the talking sound is. It seems a little loud right now. Ready for work, starfish? Hopefully you guys can hear me over it. <laughs> uh, skip tutorial. No, we need that tutorial. I'm ready. Okay, first up, feeding the jellies. Well, jelly. And how about some alchemy practice while we're at it? Use your flute to turn the zapple seed into a zapling with alchemy. Ready your flute, select the target, and then use alchemy on it. Okay. So... Um, LT for flute. Okay, and then we can use the analog stick. So to turn this, right? Let's see. Do, okay, then if I click A, there we go. All right, I am playing on Steam, but I'm playing with a um, I'm playing with a Nintendo controller right now. So in case you're confused by the UI, um, I do think the game is available on different consoles as well. Good job. Do it again. Okay. One more time. Also, the game it does have like a launch day discount. It didn't work. Did I do something wrong? Nope, nothing. Not everything reacts well to alchemy. Right, like I was saying, yes. So I think this, it's currently about 10% off. And I know in my country, which is the Netherlands, um, the standard price was, I think, 16 or 17 euro. So I think on discount, it was just over 15. It's probably the same in dollars. You can't do alchemy if you're out of energy either. So keep an eye on your stanima. St 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 stanima. <laughs> You regain your, regain your energy over time if you ever run out. A good rest or a nice meal will give you a boost too. I think... I think I need to take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> I think I need a bit of caffeine. You can pick this apple and feed it to the jelly now. First choose this apple in your bag. Then move near the jelly and feed it this apple. 
Okay. There, there we go. There you go, little jelly. Good job. Items with the food effect make your jelly less hungry. Feed your jelly as well to keep them happy. What if I feed them something else? Different items have different effects, so not all of them will make your jelly less hungry. Hey, the jelly pooped. Naturally, and sometimes that poop is valuable. It's like stinky alchemy. Bahaha, <laughs> right, this farm is built on stinky alchemy, so feed the jellies all kinds of things. But not too many. When a jelly eats enough items, they turn into a big crystals. They turn into big crystals called relics. And you can't change a jelly back once it transforms into a relic. And if it undergoes a nocturnal jelly combustion, it's gone too. You mean the poofening? I do. Every night at midnight, the unhappiest jellies poof into nothing. So make sure your favorite jellies are happy, because any extras will disappear overnight. Or at least keep it close to you, in your backpack. Well, I think that's it for me. I'll get things settled here. You go with your mother to catch jellies. Rolf, you know what to do, right? Yeah, clean the farm, take inventory, same as always. Good man, let's go. Alrighty, Yvette, we only have one jelly left on the farm. We'll need to go catch more to replace the ones we delivered. And I know the perfect spot. Okay, take your pick, walk over to one. Walk over to one to use your flute to charm the jelly you want. One is good enough for now. Oh, okay, so which one do we want? We already have a blue one on the farm. Oh, look, they also have different shaped ears. <laughs> okay, they're really cute. Okay, um... I mean, do we take that one? Look, it's dancing. Good job. Now get close to attach a balloon. Okay. There it goes. It'll float back to the farm on its own now. Let's head back. Oh, I should have grabbed the poop while I was there. We can use that. Hey, you're right on time. The jelly you caught just landed a minute ago. Perfect. Let's get to the egg laying. Getting jellies to lay eggs is the only way to get a specific kind of jellies. So if you want one specific color, shape, traits, or other attributes, you'll need to pick two jellies with those qualities. All right, so I'm wondering if red plus blue is gonna get us a green jelly. I mean, not a green jelly, a purple jelly. Wow, my color theory just went straight out the window there. Um, right, okay. And if my jelly is going to turn into a crystal, I should have it lay an egg too. Yep, that's the way it'll pass down its qualities before it's done being a jelly. So first step is we need two jellies in, in love here. Yvette, feed this to a jelly. Okay. Alright, pick it up. Okay. One for you, sir. Alrighty, now feed the other one. And one for you. Perfect, now we wait for the jellies to do their little mating dance. Are they just gonna slowly hop to one another? Oh, so slowly. We're getting closer. There we go. Oh, he's got a blue egg. So, so maybe there's just a chance, like if you mix jelly colors, then it's like a 50-50 chance between the colors and we only have core colors maybe. They laid an egg, it worked. Of oh, course, cool. so now we just wait for the egg to hatch. I don't have to do anything else, right? All done, but if you want to hatch it faster, make sure to give the egg lots of love, like petting the egg or carrying it in your backpack where it's warm. Exactly, and remember, you can always ask me about eggs and jellies if you forget. I can even tell you what kind of jelly will hatch from an egg if you bring it to me. Thanks, Mama. That'll make raising jellies for deliveries a lot easier. Speaking of which, don't forget to check for new delivery requests in the mail or at the shop. I'll mark it in your new notebook so you don't forget. 
There you go. Have a great day, starfish, and don't forget to come home for lunch and dinner. Yes, ma'am. Hey Yeti, before you head off, here's some things. Whoops. Why can't you just put them in storage yourself? Whoops. Rolf, you buckethead. <laughs> you want the rewards for finishing the item shipments, right? Then you should be the one to put everything in storage yourself. Oh. I noticed that, um... There's a different kind of jelly there in the corner. That one's purple. Fine, I'm going to deliver all the items on the list, including special star items. I'm actually not sure if that is a jelly. It's not bouncing around the same way. And I'm going to keep all the rewards for myself, so don't come begging when your allowance runs out. Okay. Let's see, so we've got weekly deliveries. I don't need your money anyway. All done. Finally, I should go visit Nina and Franco and say hi to Grandma and Grandpa too. Okay, let's pick all this stuff up. Um, maybe we'll grab the egg. Let's put it in our backpack to keep it warm. Grab some more of this. Okay. Now the question being... How do we move stuff? Let's see here at the bottom. Um, pick or put all, pick or put one, send to delivery. Or hold to send to storage. Okay, so I can move it manually like that and then assign it to the deliveries. Um, if I tap Y, that does the same thing. I think. Well, now let's attach everything for deliveries. Um, and then if we toggle through here. Okay. So first tab is our deliveries and the second tab over here, this is our storage. I want to see, who's this guy? Rex. Blubble. Blub. Hey little cutie. Do you have a treat for Rex? Give Rex a treat. Oh wait, I don't have any treats on me. Whoops. Blubble. Pet him. Who's a good little jelly? Okay, so he is a jelly. Okay, goodbye Rex. Um. Let's pet you. You were you were saying something? I saw something with a little gem above your head. Let's give him a pet as well. Seems happy. Okay. So now we were supposed to go somewhere. Now let's see if we can figure out the key for that. Not that one. There we go. Let's see. These are all statistics so far. Here's our quest log. Okay, so this um, that just relates to the shipment. Okay, we need to check the mailbox. Then we need to head to the village. We need to meet with Franco at the inn, Polko's place. And then the lighthouse. Okay, and then the family shop. Right. So, can we pick these quite easily? Do we have an energy bar or something? I don't see one. And this is going to make it quite easy to get all the goods we need grab a whole bunch on our way well these ones look different 
And then we have this. Okay, so now I I do remember a map. Take a closer look at that. Okay. Um I don't see a zoom in option, but that's fine. I see us there at the south of the map. So obviously the town is um even further south of where we are and I do see that at some point we'll have the option to fast travel which is quite nice love fast travel oh look at this slime he's so cute he looks so angry let's give him a pet okay goodbye so over here we have the police that's interesting here's Gabby's goods something on the floor Sure what that is hi grandma i'm back ahoy welcome home yvette congratulations look at you a bona fide alchemist an apprentice alchemist hey now don't sell yourself short it took you what two three years and that extra training with your papa ha, yeah i guess i am pretty cool <laughs> what about you how's it going tired us old folks are slowing down nowadays speak for yourself rick i still got a fight in me yeah, I noticed. And that's why you love me. Beh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyway, Yvette, we could always use a hand around here. Come by if you want to help out. If you have time, I bet you've got lots to do already. Oh, and remember to leave an offering at the Lonely Shrine. A no sense tempting fate. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The Lonely Shrine. Mm, I see we even have um, game achievements. So, oh, we can pick these in the town. I don't know if I want to do that. Although this one, that looks new and unique. How big is our inventory? I might be going a little, little cray cray over here. Um, let's have a look. Can we see a bigger inventory? Uh, is it just one row? That seems a little small. Aha, there we go, the B key I see there in the bottom left. Okay, the question is, have we unlocked these rows as well? I think so, let's check that. Yes, okay. So we have at least two rows unlocked, probably all three. Yvette, hey, how are you? Welcome home. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Polko. Hey, Yvette. Go ahead, give your friend a hug. Go, 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 don't be shy, Franco. Mom, Dad. What's wrong, Franco? Scared you'll catch cooties. Kiki, kiki, kiki. Ugh, I'm going outside. Hey, you still have work to do, eh? I know. Thanks a lot. Haha, <laughs> it was funny, though. Whatever. Busy working, huh? Yeah, but guess what? If I do all my work and my dad lets me cook when the kitchen is closed, you should come by. I could use a taste tester to help me perfect my recipes. Uh, well, maybe I, I guess I could. You know, I could be busy then too, so I can't really say. Awesome, it'll be huge help. I can't get anyone to taste my food lately. And they're never hungry, so they must be eating a lot. But they aren't getting fat either. Uh, um, about the tasting though. Yeah, every night. See you then. <laughs> Gotta get back to work. Oh, and congratulations. Thanks, see ya. I'm judging by that interaction that um, he's not the greatest cook, probably. <laughs> Taste testing, huh? I guess I can help. Okay, who's next? What is this place? The camera's kind of shuddering, which I assume is unintentional. Interesting. Numbered doors. Oh, it's it's an inn, I remember now. Oh, look at this jelly. He's bright pink. Can we Okay, I need to get closer. Can I? No? Okay. Okay, Mr. Jelly. So let's check that quest log again. What am I tapping through? Something I'm tapping through the wrong thing. Okay. 
there we go this one shipping this is checking the mail bookworm okay at the lighthouse okay I'm assuming the lighthouse is the closest one to us okay and that looks like it is to the far east okay and then let's see it looks like yeah right trigger will let us sprint that's useful let's see what we have down here check out the beach a bit can we harvest these oh we can and this and this and this and this yeah just taking everything why not we might need it okay grab some more flowers these jellies are so cute oh and here's another new type of flower or plant not entirely sure what it is yet what is this okay that's just a stone No, you can <laughs> pluck them straight out. Oh, the baby got made. Oh, look at him. He's in a backpack. He's so cute. Oh. Wait, let me grab him. I don't want to. I don't want to lose you now. Okay, you stay with us. Oh, hello, Evade. Welcome home. Okay, thank you. Mhm. Mm um, I missed a line there. I'm gonna assume it was the the usual library stuff. Hmm, which book should I read this time? Yes, read a book. Does that... When the... Use the mouse to drop items. Okay. I guess it's if you're playing with the mouse. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so it looks like that passed some time around... I'd say it's... Three hours rounded up. It was around 11 something. I wonder what that helps with. Like, why would we want to... Spend time... Oh, Nina's next door. Okay, you're not Nina. Um, next door, do you mean in here? Oh, wait, this is a library. We were looking for a lighthouse. I don't know. Okay. Next door, like, aha, uh -huh, of course. It even says library on it nina yvette you're back so what's up all done right yep i'm an alchemist now wow you learned a lot huh yeah i i bet they had a lot of books did you read a lot uh yeah but mostly just for homework what i bet they have all sorts of rare books and you didn't read them all i had other things to do i was there to train not to lay around reading books yeah nina not everyone is a nerd like you nobody asked you bub butthead you have the same head dummy I'm telling mom. Ugh, anyway, now that you're back, we should hang out in the lighthouse, like read books or talk about stuff. Sounds good. We could even sneak upstairs where the rare books are. Wouldn't we get in trouble? Ha, huh, well, yeah, Nina, won't you get in trouble? Bub, shush. Mom caught her sneaking in the lighthouse. Again? Yes, again and forever. It's dangerous. I don't care, and neither would you if you went up there, scaredy cat. I'm not scared. Whatever. Why don't you go feed some jellies or something? Yeah, whatever. See ya. Bye. Hopefully that's just friendly banter. Okay. Well. Let's see what this has opened up for us now. So I still need to find the mailbox at the farmhouse. And then the shrine was the other one. Okay, well, let's take a different route home. We'll grab some more stuff. Ooh, jelly poop. Okay. Should be able to make quick work of those shipping requirements. Not really counting how many we've picked up. Thankful now, we've got plenty of use for everything. So, whatever is convenient to grab, I'm just gonna grab it. 
So far it seems like the blue ones are the hardest to come by. Not that that makes it particularly difficult. But we have the least of those so far. Alright, what do we have here? It's a sign with information about a Wabba temple on it. So many theories as to who built this mysterious structure. Okay, so if this is the temple, is the shrine here? Perhaps not. Well, I do see blue flowers. Another orange type down there. Ah, like this. This is a new type as well. Okay. Oh, it can be harvested multiple times, it seems. Let's double check where we are on the map. Okay, we're a bit north of where we need to go. Okay, let's see if we can get around this way. Hmm, what's this? Small stone platform with a crystal in the middle. It doesn't look active. Okay, so I guess if we put something in there, we might open up that bridge. Grab these. Oh, sounds like our inventory is full. Let's see. Yeah, three rows. That's interesting. To start off with three rows as your, like, beginning inventory. Hmm, I wonder if we're able to continue expanding it. Okay. But let's just go through this quickly. Anything that is shippable, we will ship. Oh, this is currency. Interesting. It sits in our inventory like that. Okay. So, we only filled up the sort of yellow dandelion looking ones. Oh, a sandy lion. Okay. Let's see what else do we have here? Mm, the normal blue and red ones that we keep seeing, the slime poop. The little green thing. What is this? We did pick up one. The leather. Okay, and that's even food. And this squint berry. Okay, that must have been the last plant that we saw. Smooch bloom. Okay, interesting. Um, by holding these, I can put them in storage. If I change the ah, uh -huh. so if I change the tab now, I can just tap. Okay. Um, oh, I see there's also a stack all by clicking the right analog. That is going to be useful in the future. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Are you new? Um, let's see. think what's up next for us. Alright guys, we think I'm going to be ending this part off over here. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!